Hey, hello and welcome to the show. It's me, JP, and it's time for JP's product pick of the week. And here we are. And by we, I mean me and you, all of you. Thank you for uh, stopping by to watch and thanks for heading over to the chat right there in YouTube as well as Discord. If you're wondering where the chat is, maybe you're watching on Twitch or somewhere else, uh, most of our chat is on Discord. You can head over to adafru.it and jump right in the chat. You'll get an immediate invitation to join. It's a fun place. It's hopping. The channel you want to go to is the hashtag live broadcast, and that's where it's, uh, where it's all going on. Live broadcast chat, I should say. Uh, so... Without any further ado, I want to direct you to this product page. You're going to want to head here and watch the show from inside that page so that you can get a gigantic 50% off on today's product pick of the week. You can go to this URL. You can go to this QR code if you have some sort of device, a camera. that will point you there and get you where you need to go. And uh, if I head there right now without revealing too much. Uh, okay, that reveals everything. But there it is. You're going to see that the show is happening from right in there, so you're not going to miss anything. But if you head to that page, you can get 50% off on today's product pick, and it's a good one. Uh, so without any further ado, what I'm going to do is have Lady Ada tell us all about it. So Lady Ada from the uh, not-too-distant past, please take it away. That's right, sliders. It's sliders time. <laughs> I've had that like 5,000 times. Okay, yeah. so we've got the slider trinky. Um, this trinky, is like, it's, 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 a, it's a trinky. It plugs into USB. It's, it's a trinky. We have a character that I'm going to be debuting soon. Yeah, so let's go to... Uh, okay, so it's, it's, it's fully assembled unlike the other trinkies because there's only one slide potentiometer that would fit. Basically, I just picked a small slide pot that we have. And on the bottom of the board uh, is a SAMD 21. It's got a capacitive touchpad and two NeoPixels. That's kind of it. It's very, very bare bones minimalist. Uh, and the goal here is that you can use Arduino, you can use CircuitPython, it plugs into a USB port, and then you just have like a potentiometer. And like that's it. It's like really, that's all it does. And you can uh, touch the end for a capacitive uh, touch. It lights action. up. Yeah. So here, here it is. So it slides into the USB A port. I will say, you might be thinking, what if I slide and I keep sliding? Will it pull out? Yeah, it, it'll, it'll eventually pull out. Well, yeah, so, it does exactly what exactly you expect what you it to do. So just be um, aware. Just, you know, you can slide in, and then if you slide out, just yeah. stop when it stops. Um, so another thing is there's the capacitive touch. If I touch it, it just turns the LEDs on, so it's a way to, to demo it. It's got a little um, hole that you can uh, attach to a, a lanyard. There's uh, the two NeoPixels that are individually controllable. Now, the NeoPixels, I kind of wanted to have an under lighting. Um, it does shine through the, the body, but I'll say that because the body of the potentiometer is made out of like FR4, it gives it a yellowish cast. So you're not going to get all the different colors. You get yellow and you get green and you get red, but the, the more subtle like pinks and blues don't come through. Um, they do come through on the side. It's just a trade-off. I think you know you're not going to get like full resolution every color, but you're it's fine for notification. And then you know you can program as an HID device, or you can have it. You know, I actually had it hook up into my Philips Hue lights, and I was reading with um, my desktop. I would read the value of the potentiometer, and I would use it to dim or um, lower the lights in the entire house, which is kind of cool. So, yeah. um, it's just a potentiometer with USB. Very simple. It's a trinky. Hey, you know what? In fact, I'm going to head right over there to my cabinet of mystery drawers of cool stuff, TM, and grab my own. So hold on one second. Let me go grab, grab one right over there. Be right back. My goodness, there it is. In fact, look at that cool animation right there. My product pick of the week this week 
It is the Slider Trinky. This is a 10K potentiometer on a USB stick based on an AtSamD21 Cortex-M0, and it has a couple of underlit NeoPixels and capacitive touch on one end. You can plug it right into USB. It can act as a MIDI device. It can act as a USB HID keyboard, mouse, uh, game controller, as well as raw USB serial. And uh, it's also uh, a little thumb drive, so it has a little bit of storage on there. I think it has 256 megs of flash on there. Uh, 256K, not megs. It has 256K of flash. That would be amazing. Uh, so what I wanted to do is, uh, first of all, throw that up there, because isn't that a cute little logo, our little slug, snail? Is there a difference? Cute little guy there. Uh, that's the slider trinky logo. And now what I want to do is give you uh, a little bit of a demo. Before I do that, I'll mention, head to this URL and go pick up some, because someone said there are 72 of them in stock right now, a maximum of 10 that you can get, and they're 50% off. So if you have some big ideas and a couple USB hubs and you want to plug in and, uh, and go to town, pick some up now. This one, by the way, comes pre-assembled, so there's no soldering required. It's just ready to go, ready to plug and play. Uh, so, first demo I'll, I'll show you here. Let's uh, go to a, let's see, how about this view plus this view. That ought to do it. Uh, so, you can see here I've got one of the slider trinkies ready to go, and I'm going to plug it into a USB extension cable here. So, this is plugged into my main computer, and you're going to see over here in my terminal I have a... Uh, serial output coming from the slider trinky. So as I change the position of the slider there, you'll see that we get a slider value of 0 0.1 up to 1. And you can, of course, turn those values into anything you need for, for the use you have in mind. And you'll also see there's a touch value there, which is floating around 192. When I touch it, it jumps up to about 1,000, and it knows that it's been touched, and it says, touched. Uh, so those are a couple uses. This is just some demo code that comes on it, and uh, this was done in Arduino. It uses the touch to turn on and off the LEDs, and it uses the slider to go through the rainbow. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is jump over to a different demo, uh, and here what I've got is a, let's see, how about, we'll go to this view of the world. And like so. Uh, so what I have here is uh, a separate machine. This is a little laptop of mine. And I have some DJ software running on here. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll hit play on one of the... There's two tracks running simultaneously. And they're, they're beat matched and in sync with each other. And what I can do is use the slider here to crossfade between the two decks. Uh, so let me hit play on... The other, so you can hear there's a couple of uh, Bartle Beats tracks. So hopefully you can hear that uh, well enough. Over my, uh, over my AC and things. So this is a really cool use for this. And uh, the way I'm doing that, in fact, let's have a look at uh, what's going on over here in uh, Atom. And I'll switch, uh, let me switch that off there. Okay, uh, so here is the circuit Python code that I have running on this one right here. Uh, and what's happening is I'm importing some of the libraries that we need, such as time, board for board definition, analog I.O., so that we can read the potentiometer. And then I'm using USB MIDI in this case. So I've established USB MIDI and Adafruit MIDI, uh, as well as the NeoPixel, and set up the MIDI to use the control change library, which is usually a dial from 0 to 127. That's pretty typical for MIDI. This software I'm using is uh, able to be configured to look at a MIDI input for moving that crossfader around or pretty much anything in, in the program can be set with um, CC changes in MIDI. Uh, I set up the MIDI and then I've got a little bit of a function here for doing color as a hue, saturation and value. Uh, and then here's the bulk of what's happening. While true, 
I have this variable called CC value that is based on the slider value. So slider dot value just grabs that sliders value, that analog value. And then I'm dividing it by 512 to get it down to the 0 to 127 range that I need. Uh, and then I just have um, a little bit of code there that will uh, check for a change so that I'm not constantly spamming it. If there's a change, then I'm going to print that value out to the serial port. Uh, I will send that uh, controller change value over MIDI, over USB MIDI. And then I'm also changing the colors of the NeoPixels and sliding them depending on which way I go. Uh, so that right there is all the code it takes to do this little cross fader. And as you can see, when I switch back over to uh, the tractor, the DJ software there, you can see that little uh, virtual cross fader in the middle is moving as I move this one. It's pretty responsive, but it's also a lot nicer to use the actual crossfader here than a virtual one with your mouse. It's a lot more satisfying. Uh, I don't have touch set up to do anything on that, and that partly it's because I want to keep a finger on that. So like Lady Ada said, we don't fling this out of the side of your USB port. So I want to hold that. Um, and one other trick that I have going on is there is a 3D printed insert that the Ruiz brothers made that allows the uh, trinky, the slider trinky, let me pull one out here. I've, I have one that just got lodged into, actually, you know what, I'll unplug this one. Uh, so you can see, oh yeah, they're, they're staying behind now. Uh, there it is. So this is a little insert that grips the top of the USB port. And that's kind of what uh, is better than just it on its own can be a little bit, a little bit wobbly. Um, so you might lose contact there depending on the USB port. If you hold it, you can use it pretty well. Um, but this little 3D printed gripper takes about a minute or two to print, uh, goes in and it grabs both the top and the bottom of the USB port the way it was meant to be done. Uh, so if we put that in there, you get a nice stable uh, fit. So not entirely necessary, but uh, a, a good idea. Works pretty well. Uh, oh, you can see there I, I wiggled it out, so now it's not going to be happy with me. We'll hit stop on here. Uh, all right, so let's see. Are there, I'm going to pop back over to um, the, let's bring this guy up here, uh, to the chat and see any questions. Uh, DJ Pro is another cool DJ software, someone said. Yes, uh, you should be able to use this, by the way, on iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, Linux. It'll work pretty much on anything that is uh, ready to receive USB HID, USB MIDI. Um, let's see. The, um, the other thing is that this does have the little uh, lanyard there, so you can kind of carry it with you wherever you want to go. You may want to uh, print out a little cover for it so you don't uh, chip off any parts using your, your uh, keys if you put it on a keychain. Um, Let's see, anything else? I think that's about it. Uh, so once again, a reminder that this beauty, this uh, slider trinky, you can head right over here to this, this here uh, page. Let me jump back to my Chrome browser. Uh, and let's see if I re re uh, reload there. Do we still have them in stock? Uh, we have 57 of them in stock. Great, so uh, some people have gotten some. I'm glad if you've put it in your cart, make sure you you hit go because it's not really reserved by being in the car. You actually have to purchase it. Uh, and you're going to get the 50% off until the end of this show. And you have a little bit of a grace period uh, as well. We, I believe, don't have the guide up for this yet. But if anyone is uh, desperate for it, I can post this uh, code up on a gist. I'll show the code again there uh, for anyone who's curious or anyone who's doing uh, screenshots of that. Um, the only trick of it really is that since this has the board definition and the modules libraries all built in with this kind of use in mind, you don't have to actually drag over extra libraries for a lot of the things you're going to do with it. Uh, and you'll notice the, the board when I define the analog input, it's this pin called board.potentiometer. So it's not board D or A0 or something like that. Uh, it's actually got a name that's really easy to use. Uh, so that's how I'm setting that up in there. Uh, let's see, any other questions over in uh, YouTube or uh, on our Discord? 
No, looks like we're all good. Okay, well, hey, look, there's too many of me. What's that guy doing there? Uh, okay, so that's going to do it for today. That's my product pick of the week. It is the Slider Trinky. It is a fader on a USB stick, and it has a couple of underlit NeoPixels as well as a capacitive touch button on it. And uh, it runs CircuitPython and Arduino on the Cortex-M0 that is built right on there. And that's going to do it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and set that on my last remaining pegboard. I've been stealing them from other places to get this thing ready to go. Uh, and that'll do it. So thank you all so much for stopping by. And uh, just to let you know, I will not be doing a uh, show next week. I'm going to be off next week. So no show on Tuesday or Thursday of next week. But this Thursday, I do still have my John Parks workshop show. So come on by. We'll build something fun. All right. Thanks, everyone. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park, and this has been JP's Product Pick of the Week.